Hey guys, uh, quick update on the yellow car. Uh, it's still very much the same. Still yellow, still spoon themed, still the same old wheels. This car is pretty much done. It's pretty much done and it's a very, very comfortable car to drive. I do drive it a lot. Now that it's uh, nicer here in Minnesota, I do drive it pretty frequently, probably like every every other day if it's nice out. And I do drive it every weekend as much as I can if I'm not too busy. But uh, the biggest change would be in the engine bay, obviously. If you guys refer back to my old videos, none of the, none of this stuff are here. And I'm talking about the AC power steering and the new intake. Uh, the block is still Type R block, Type R trans, but the uh, intake is a uh, Comtech icebox. Works really well, and it's a uh, OEM look. That's what I like about it. That's why I bought it. But with this intake box, you do need to run an Integra Type R intake arm you see everything's all OEM routed so that gives you a benefit obviously make sure that everything is plumbed properly but it is a three inch here and a three inch here so you do have to accommodate for that just to be on the safe side if you're gonna do this intake you will need a throttle body that is at least three inch or smaller but if it's too small it might not work either but I'm not too sure but uh, that is what I ran AC works power steering works I do need a cap I know I am missing that cap I do need to get one uh, still waiting for it to come in the mail I should just grab it off the junkyard but I'm just too lazy to go to the junkyard but everything works uh, I'll give you guys a little summary of how to make it work. So for the power steering, you need a P30 lower and upper bracket, power steering bracket. For the power steering pump, you do need a, a OBD2 power steering bracket, unless you're not running, if you're running a different line, high pressure line, then that's your preference, but I am for my application. I am running uh, Integra LS power steering pump OBD2, and this this uh, line right here is off a of D series, off a of EK D series OBD2, and I'm running on uh, Integra belt. And then for the power steering reservoir, <coughs> this is just. Uh, a D series all these lines return lines right here are all D series off of the uh, Y7 or Y8 they're all the same and then for the AC you you do need obviously you do have to run the D series stuff for the EK they are pretty much plug and play if you have all these correct parts so compressor compressor is off is a D series mine is a brand new OEM unit D series uh, condenser D series these two lines D series and here I'm just telling you guys what I did you obviously if you guys have an EM1 you know these lines are pretty much plug and play for you guys but for my application I had to run D series because this car never came with AC so all these lines right here going back to the firewall going back to the evaporator box under the dash I had to put that in it never came from the factory it was our it wasn't an option I guess so for this one my car specifically did not run ac from the factory so i had to plumb up everything under the dash which wasn't too easy and uh these wires right here the wiring you have to grab it 
uh if i'm not correct no and I'm, if i'm not mistaken uh the condenser wire this wire the red wire right here off the condenser no off the compressor that that wire that the female plug is already integrated into your wiring harness it's just capped off so if you take off that cap you can run that wire honda made it really easy and you can just run that wire to your harness that's already integrated into your headlight harness so that's that is the plus of that but for like your fan your condenser and your and uh the dryer you had to grab this harness from the junkyard i mean if it's not all cut up just grab it it's like four or five plugs it's very easy to get at and then that should make it work The AC works really well in this car, surprisingly. Uh, when, when me and my brother did it, we were surprised uh, how good it ran and how good uh, the AC was with the temperature wise. I can start it up for you guys. With the AC blowing. And I'll show you guys how the car idles. Obviously, my engine runs really well. Uh, other engines might not. Just it's just on your engine and how your setup is. But this engine is bone stock, so it runs really well. The fan is running. All the belts are on. Everything works. Compressor clutch is spinning. And yeah, that's how it runs with the AC and power steering. This was a long time coming. I always wanted to add those two components to this car because I just thought that uh, that would make it like the perfect cruiser. And it does make it a perfect cruiser in my opinion. You don't get any smoke from the back, nothing. The car's a little dirty, but use that but uh runs really nice obviously once you get it running and going uh obviously it blows colder but as just idling it's still pretty cold in my opinion and it works better than not having it obviously and uh me personally i just really wanted it in my car That's just a quick update. If you guys like the video, please give it a like, share, comment, uh, and I will definitely see you guys on the next one.